official says suffocation risk at giant Louisiana sinkhole spewing gas could cause explosion hazard the gentle bubbles, actually natural gas spewing from a 22-acre sinkhole caused by a collapsed salt cavern. John Boudreau, Assumption Parish Office of Emergency Preparedness, there could be an explosion hazard and or methane does displace oxygen, so by displacing oxygen then it becomes an asphyxiant. Carla Ailman, former Bayou Corn resident, we are never going back. We'll never feel safe there again. They can never say that it will be safe there again. Hello everybody. <clears throat> There's a strange story going on right now. That's about a blowout on a deep oil horizon again. And there was a video of it. And I was going to embed it, but the video's gone now. It don't work, don't play, can't find it anywhere. So with that, I'm going to let y'all hear the rest of this, this little clip, the writing here with the robot. And then we're going to talk some more, or I'm going to talk some more in the video. Well, it happened about 9.50 a.m. on Hercules platform number 265, which is located about 40 miles south and 10 to 15 miles west of Grand Isle according to the Coast Guard. Officials told WDSU that 44 people were evacuated on two lifeboats, and all are said to be okay. A Coast Guard cutter and two aircraft were sent to assess the situation. Hercules Offshore owns the platform, but Jefferson Parish Emergency Management officials said Walter Oil and Gas was the company conducting drilling at the time of the incident. Initial reports indicate natural gas began working its way to the surface, as crews were in the process of pumping mud. JPEM participated in an early afternoon call that included members of the Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management as well as the Coast Guard. Responding agencies have established a unified command in Huma to manage the situation. The Federal Aviation Administration has posted flight restrictions for the immediate area. Check back with WDSU Calm for updates. Okay, folks. <clears throat> Y'all heard that, right? I'm a little confused. I don't know why it's so important. The newscaster, everywhere that I look, is still up. The only thing that's not there now is the video to the information and... Um, I don't quite understand. I do understand... Well, let me explain this to y'all in the best way I know how. They starting a propaganda story to take our minds off of another story. Whatever that story may be, it doesn't matter. And here, it was a little bitty gas explo pipeline exploded in Mobile, or I think that's what it said. Maybe not, I don't remember. But anyway, it was a little gas explosion. And it's on this story. It has nothing to do with an uh, oil, oil rig nowhere. I just don't understand, people. There, there's something happening. Um, I need y'all's help to help me investigate it. You see that I went, I went through just about every one of those. And uh, I don't get it. There's something going on. There's something they're hiding, so don't just look for this story. Look for whatever else they're hiding. They're hiding something, or they're trying to take people's mind off of whatever they've already found. Maybe it's got to do with, uh, hmm, let's see, uh, Nick Baggage, his little newscast. Uh, maybe it's the... Uh, uh, the Russian and the United States conflict going on right now, I, I really don't know, folks. But this is very curious to me. And when I see stuff like this happen, um, generally something happens that's even worse. Uh, I don't know what that may be. I, I can't answer the question. But something is up. And something is on the prowl. So, guys, y'all look out, look over your shoulder, look around. Not a scare tactic. I'm just telling you, something seems like it's up. 
Much love to y'all. Have a good day.